In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how to generate random numbers in a variety of different ways. The first thing we're going to look at is how to do, do the generating with a calculator. And before we go any further, let's spell calculator correctly. So in your notes, you should have a C-A-L C-U-L-A-T-O-R. All right, so let's have a look at how to do this with a calculator. The main thing to remember is that there is a button that does this for you. On our Casio calculators, it's the button called RAN hash. Now I'll show you this with a picture of the calculator in a moment, but that's the one that generates random numbers and they go from 0, 0.000 to 0 0.999 so you need to press shift and RAN hash and let's say a number like 0 0.364 appears so how do we use this as a random number well if you want a one digit random number just ignore the first digit and the second digit and take the last digit if you want a two digit number you ignore the first digit and just take the last two and then if you want a three digit number, you take all the numbers to get the random numbers. Now I'm going to show you the calculator if I, if I can. There'll be a calculator that should come up on the screen. If you just hold on for a moment, there we go. Now, um, what I'll do is I'll just hide the notes for a minute so it's a little bit clearer. And there we go. There's our calculator. And if you have a look, there's your shift button. And there's your RAN button down here. And if I press equals, I get a fraction. So you need to press this SD button in here. And if you keep pressing um, the shift key, there it is there, shift and random and equals, you'll keep getting numbers that will work. So there's a good example, 0 0.761. If I press equals again, I get a new number. And I press equals again, and so on. So you just keep pressing equals and then changing it back and forward to what you need and you've got your random numbers being generated. So that's how you do it with a calculator. Shift key, RAN hash and, and just use the rules and that'll generate up to a three digit number. You don't worry about the numbers to the left of the decimal, uh, the decimal point because there won't be any other than zero. So just the ones to the right. Alright now next thing we need to look at and I'll just um, get our notes up again just move on to the next one and that is generating the uh, random numbers with a spreadsheet now I'm not going to go through this with you except to say that I know it works so you've got the details in your notes I would it would be a really good idea for you to follow that through and have a go and see if you can build a, um, a random number generator that looks like this and all the details are there so what I'm going to do is to show you one that that I did and um, we'll, we'll do that like this and once again I'll just hide the notes for a minute and there there we go with this one now what it is is you the, the computer the program that you write in Excel um, if you follow those instructions has two columns of numbers here and there's formulas that are set up to generate these random numbers. And if I just click, let's say up here, you'll notice the numbers change all the time. And they're generating two digit numbers. So numbers between 0 and 100. And if you experiment, you can do all sorts of variations with this one. So there's a good way to actually generate uh, your random numbers. So I'll there we go. So I'm going to leave that one with you to experiment with and we'll just go on with our notes now. All right. This is now a very important part for you to notice. So I'll get a highlighter out and we'll work through these notes together. This is called the random sample. And it says that in a random sample, each member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. So if you're going to select a sample from a population, then the people in that population have all got an equal chance of being selected. So there will be no bias. It says in choosing random samples, 
it is usually a uh, usual to assign numbers there you go assign numbers to each member of the population and then select the numbers randomly all right so the members of the population whose numbers come up they form the sample so it says if the population is very small uh, then what you could probably do is to draw the numbers from a hat so you might have a group of 20 you might allocate them the numbers 1 to 20 cut up or have cards of the same size put them into a hat with the numbers 1 to 20 and draw one out but if you have a large population that's just not practical so what you do here is you allocate everybody with a number but then you generate the numbers um, randomly with calculators or computers no point tearing up or creating cards uh, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people you need random number generators to do that so let's explain how we could do this carefully all right let's have a look we want a random sample of 10 students to be chosen from a class of 30 how would we go about this well what you would first of all do is to give every student a number from 1 to 30 so every student would be numbered and then you would start in a, um, a part we'll start right at the beginning let's say this was the first lot of numbers that we would select and you'll notice that um, you actually if you start at 59 um, you probably will find that you can't use that well you definitely couldn't do it because you've got a class of 30 so uh, 59 is not going to work so you just keep moving along until you can get 10 so let's see um, there's 59 can't use it because it's it's um, greater than 30 there's 14 so that would be our first call number 14 and let's go along we can't use 77 can't use 92 can use 23 so number 23 would be next can't use 43 88 94 37 but there we can we can use two and notice it's a, a two digit number but there's a zero into it that's why it's a two um, we can use 15 so we've got four already uh, 55 87 50 42 59 87 55 37 05 so we can use five as our next one now you can continue doing this until you get your 10 class members selected but that's how you would use a random number list to help you choose the right people in the group all right let's have a look at this one here how, explain how a random sample of 80 students could be selected from a school of 950 students and this is quite a large group so you could first of all number one and you would have to do this you would have to assign the numbers are 1 to 950 to the students now this is not such a hard thing to do because if you've got a database which you would have for school each student is numbered so it's not hard to allocate the numbers but then the next thing would be um, you couldn't write numbers on a card put them into a hat and draw them out it would just take too long so it would be much easier to use a calculator so we'll use a calculator here use a calculator to draw or to actually I'll put here to draw the numbers and of course You've got to be careful that you don't reuse them so that would be the best way to do it give them a number then use a calculator and out it would come now i've actually um, created a couple of random generators on a spreadsheet that would do this um, and so you could even make sure that the numbers are unique and don't come up again and there are a lot of uh, random number generators that are designed to do that all right now the last question we're going to have a quick look at here is this one let's say that we want to select six squares from this grid randomly how are we going to do it well I think the main thing is to have a list 
of random numbers. Now I've just selected the same random numbers that we had before and we're going to use it now to select the grids. Now you, as you know, a grid can have the numbers, um, for example, we'll put the X values first. So a number like that and a number like that, one and four. So one and four would be that value up there, one and four, using the X, Y axis type of grid. So let's go and see if we can do this. And if we start here, um, Actually, I've got another grid down here, haven't I? So, yeah, it says use the list of random numbers to select. Yeah, we'll use this. We'll use this list here, I think. Yeah, we might as well do that one. So here we go. Forty-nine. Well, we haven't got a nine, so we can't use that. Two and a four. We can do that. There's a two. There's a four. So we can select that one there. A six and a three. And there's no sixes. A six and a seven, no, but there and no zero four, but there is a one and a three, so we could choose that one there, one and a three, a no four and a nine, nine four, eight nine, two six, almost six one, two seven, nine three, six five, three five. There's our next one. So you have to move away. There is three and five. So even though this has come up randomly, it's created a little pattern. That's just purely coincidence. Um, there's a three and a two three and a two down there so how many have we got now one two three four we need two more uh three and a three so there's that one gone now and we'll get one more three and a three seven and a one no five and a four there we go five and a four and there are our numbers selected um ran our square selected randomly so the these random number tables are excellent when it comes to doing the sort of job that we need to do